Mrs. Palmer should be the Arizona Teacher of the Year because she has shown a great amount of love to my family and others. Even when she taught my two older sisters, she pushed them to do their best. Now one of the two is in pre-medical and the other wants to be an engineer. Mrs. Palmer, I think, should be in the Teacher of the Year because she loves her students and she loves what she does and she's just really committed to everything that she does overall in the classroom. Mrs. Palmer should be Teacher of the Year because she cares about her students and she goes above and beyond for their needs and uh, wants and she helps them accomplish their goals and that's what makes the school great. Um, Mrs. Palmer should be the Arizona Teacher of the Year because she gives us confidence in math and confidence in ourselves. But think about this, if I had a half a pizza, you can all put that in your head, right? Half a pizza. You can put a fourth of a pizza in your head. Can I combine those two easily in your head with pictures? Absolutely. With numbers, we can't do that quite as easily, can we? It's very important that you put everything into the same size. Denominators are really like how big your fraction is, your size of fraction. So it's very important that you're constantly combining like terms, like sizes. That is ultimately why we do what we do with fractions. When you're adding and subtracting them, they have to be all likes. Then you can simplify them once you're done. The most rewarding aspect of being a teacher is when at 7.15 on a Tuesday and Wednesday morning, I have an entire classroom full of kids that want to learn math. They are ready, they are eager. Watching them understand and try and to grasp things that don't come easy for them. Um, or when you're sitting down with a group of kids and they're trying to solve a problem and they're collaborating and they're talking and they're problem solving, that's what we need for the future. Um, we need those problem solvers, we need those critical thinkers, and I get to see it every day. One of the best things that I can carry forward is the relationships with my students. Once you have that relationship, you not only have a relationship with that student, but you have a relationship with the families, and it's a complete win-win situation. Once you get those small groups, and that's really where you build the relationships, is those teachers that pull small groups that really understand why this child is not understanding, where they're going wrong, what their misconceptions are. You're able to help clarify things for them, but ultimately it's the passion, it's constantly being there. They know that they've got a safe place to go every day, that I will be there, and that I will have a smile on, and that we will keep trying. Even if I make a mistake, it's okay. It's absolutely a safe place. We all make mistakes and we actually learn more from when we make mistakes. And so that's what a great teacher does. A great teacher instills that life of learning and that relationship and the passion for learning. Awesome, sounds great. You have a nice plan.